What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are doing some live attacks. It's been a while, and we're not doing one, we're doing two live attacks, one Town Hall 11, one Town Hall 12, taking on some pretty good anti-3-star bases from this, uh, it's kind of an arranged war, although we did a random search so, so they could, uh, I think, level their clan up, I'm, I'm not sure the details, it was maybe kind of a potluck type match. But it's a good clan, Elite Academy. We got our Town Hall 11 Trisectatron, our Town Hall 12 uh, Quintsectatron. Both are trying to triple, and both using somewhat similar strategies. Um, there are some differences. We'll talk about the plans, and we'll do the attacks both in this video. So this is going to be a very fun video to record. Um, as you can see, I have the hybrid cooked up. Um, looks like everything is there. Let me show you the base, show you the plan. Then we'll go ahead and do this first live attack. Uh, this top Town Hall 12 here, number 20. You can see uh, this base has a, you know, relatively spread out. Uh, my thoughts were, I like using the Yeti blimp even at Town Hall 11 when you can only bring one Yeti, but you got those two Valks. So basically I'm gonna drop my blimp down here by the army camp area, let it take out this Inferno uh, Expo area, have some other loons in the area. Um, that'll take that out and then put my queen over here with healers, let her kill the CC, take out these like six buildings. Uh, put my king over here once the CC is engaged with some wizards, let him take out the defensive king town hall area and then come from the hybrid right here uh, at like one o'clock, let it come through to the eagle and then just kind of bouncing along this way. That's the plan. Um, as soon as I saw this base, I saw kind of the nice pathing through the eagle, through these expos, through the queen. All that's very compact. It kind of tells me do hybrid if you can get the funnel on either side. And I think I can using the queen on one side and then the yeti blimp and the king on the other to get it done. So um, without further ado, let's get right into it. We have two attacks, so don't want to make this video go on for too long. Um, the army looks good. Everything's cooked up. Uh, no freezes, just doing the rages and the heals. Obviously a rage for the yeti and the valks once they pop out. Um, let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay. So, gonna put a few loons on this archer tower first. Uh, one, two, three, then a test loon there. Here's the blimp. One, two, one. Just drop that out like that. And very nice. We should get that inferno in just a moment, guys. There it goes. Uh, CC coming out, perfect. Uh, looks like it's a golem and a CC. That'll take a little bit of time from the queen, but uh, besides that, not a big deal. Go ahead and get her going. Time's not a huge issue on this attack. Wizard, wizard. Will you save that poison for the golem, it looks like. Get it down just like that. We'll put down a, a, wi a wizard or two to kind of help take out that golem here. Uh, there we go. At least one wizard is working on the golem. Uh, let's get the king going like that. Wizard. Okay, the eagle's activated. That's okay. And let's pop the king's ability and get this going. We'll see what the queen decides to do. Hopefully she doesn't wrap around. It looks like she might. Um... Hit that Warden's ability soon. There we go. Good timing on the Warden. A um, little worried about time because my Queen did wrap around. Plenty of heal spells, assuming I didn't lose too much at the beginning to that Eagle, which is a possibility, but looks like there's a fair amount of Miners still up, which is always good. Um, we're just going to keep them healed as we go through here. Uh, got our level 8 heal still in the bag. Just kind of use it where we see fit. Which group to heal is the question. I'm gonna heal this group. May, might have been a mistake, maybe not. There's, there's hogs in that group, there were miners in the other group. Um, this one might actually not pan out as I, as I planned. I think I was a little late on everything. We'll take a look at the replay, obviously. Um, see what we could have done differently. If this plan could have worked, if it was the execution. Uh, sucks to not get it, especially at Town Hall 11. We try to get those, you know, those three stars. Uh, at least a 50% a hit rate, so I guess I have a chance to redeem myself later. Um, we'll just drop the wizard there. Pop the queen's ability, and we'll just wait for time to run out on this one. But yeah, um, just 
my impression, I mean, you guys may even have saw more than me because you had more of a bird's eye view of the attack, but my impression was that the, I mean, the queen wrapping around or, and coming back towards the hybrid didn't help, obviously, and that's always something that I've had problems with when doing that. Um, but, I mean, besides that, I think just, uh, if you look at had the queen gone around, I mean, all of this she could have taken out in theory instead of beating through like, you know, four layers of walls like she did. That's, I guess, an underrated thing to think about uh, when talking about hybrid is uh, if your queen's doing a walk instead of a charge, you've got to make sure she actually walks. And we'll, we'll get to that on the next attack, which is somewhat similar. So fast forward through that, the Yeti blimp was fine. Um, Golem sucks up some time, obviously, but the wizard helped right here. Here, I think I was late. The king should have been down 15 seconds earlier. I'm just dropping the king right as the golem is just getting taken care of. Um, hybrid should have already started. You need to get um, that bomb tower down. It's, it really it would have drawn the queen, so that needed to be down before she um, had the chance to come back around. I guess that air defense might have taken out some healers, but probably not because uh, the hogs get down relatively quickly. So. Definitely would have helped to have the queen wrapping around. Um, maybe lost a few hogs and miners at the beginning that I didn't need to, but besides that, you know, I think uh, I learned my lesson to some extent with that, and we'll we'll give the town hall uh, 12 attack a try as well. Um, yeah, that'll just about do it. Then the the clock runs down from there. So I will be right back, guys, on my town hall 12 account, and we'll go over the plan there. Okay, let's see if I can redeem myself. Um, you can see we also have a hybrid army cooked up. A little bit different plan, and we'll talk about how it's going to be different. Um, Got to make sure my warden is back on ground. Okay, uh, base number 10. Lots of other live attacks going on. Should be a lot of good content coming from this war. So basically what I saw here is Town Hall Eagle are both kind of lined up nicely. Um, which you can get both with the hybrid in theory, makes it a much easier queen walk slash charge if the queen doesn't have to deal with either of them. Um, so, you know, use the warden's tome earlier, the eagle can't really do much in that short period of time before they get too close to it. When they're at that expo, the warden can't reach it. So that was kind of the thoughts initially. Also, this area can be taken out by the king and the siege barracks pretty easily. There's no walls. So I can kind of see the plan developing. Obviously, there's a lot in the core, but with rages and heals, hopefully can take care of that. So let's talk about the plan. Queen gonna start up at 12, walking down this way towards two o'clock. Um, gonna put a few loons on that cannon with some minions. I think I need to train those minions actually. Um, don't want the same thing to happen where the queen comes back around the wrong way, that would suck. So we're definitely gonna get, to get that cannon down and that uh, gold mine just to make sure we're good there. Queen engages CC as soon as that's happening. We got the siege barracks and the king going down over here. I think I might bring a giant for that archer tower so it doesn't lock onto the siege barracks, get all the wizards out of it. Um, hybrid coming from right here, um, should activate the town hall. The eagle will lock on quickly, but we'll use the tome over the town hall. It'll also protect those first few eagle shots. Then we'll just be using heals, plus I think one rage. I, can, I have enough spells to use one rage in the core for the hogs and the miners. Um, plus hogs coming out of the siege barracks to help they'll be coming in this area here um, Yeah, I, I feel good. We're gonna have a baby dragon and a balloon here to in a jump spell So the Queen will be able to actually kind of jump in that way the air defense won't just kill all my healers and end that charge early So she'll actually come in I'm not expecting her to take out the Eagle But at least get these buildings and push everything down the right direction and she should be up uh, Towards the end of the attack is the is the idea you always um want to see that with the uh, with the hybrid attack so let's uh, make sure I have everything I mentioned I need some minions so I think we're gonna have to delete a few things here um, I think we can just drop a hog I'm, I'm always a big fan of bringing more miners than hogs when it comes to hybrid so we'll drop a hog we will bring two minions actually we want one more minion drop a wizard Four minions and an archer. A um, little more flexibility with having those minions. Looks like we have everything else. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Alright, base number 10. Okay. Feel pretty good about this one. But um, we will see. 
Felt good about the last one too. <laughs> okay. Start the queen first, then we'll put the loons down. Actually, we'll start the minions first. Okay. Queen. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. There's that baby, we'll get that down ahead of time. Okay, she should lure the CC at some point, hopefully. Then she should walk to the right, which is what we want. There we go. Perfect. Go ahead and get that jump down in just a moment. Actually, we'll start the king. There's the jump. You should be good to go. Pop the king. Start the hybrid. A lot happening at once. I'll just pop my queen's ability if I need to. I don't want to use that rage on her. Looks like she might be okay. Everything is moving really fast, but I think I have a lot up still. Get one more heal there. Need to get that Inferno down. This one looks like it's going to be a triple, guys. Uh, time willing. I uh, went ahead and used those last two heals simultaneously to try to get both those multis, even though there was one group that was definitely bigger than the other. I would just have been healing the stuff on the outside, so something you got to keep in mind there. Um, we can go ahead and maybe start trying to cut down this back end a little bit with the balloon and the wizard there. Um, yeah, we have plenty of time. Okay, got a triple. Didn't want to leave you guys without uh, a triple there. I mean, maybe you... I don't know, maybe you're rooting for me to fail. I think I've watched live attacks where I've rooted for people to fail, so, you know, whatever... whatever makes the video enjoyable, but you're not going to get it if that's what you're hoping for. Uh, one for two, but, you know, Town Hall 12 in a way is is, I would say, a little more important because it's a little more difficult to three-star at Town Hall 12 uh, at this point in the game. But take a quick look at the replay. I'll wrap this up before we go over our time. Uh, 13 minutes or so right now. Okay, so taking a look at the replay here, you can see that um, went pretty much to plan. Uh, the funnel was good. I think those balloons were a nice touch to make sure the queen goes the right way. Didn't want her stepping too close to that mortar there. Um, funneled her on the other side, and then I right, heads up play. I was gonna start dropping the jump and paying attention to the queen, but then I remember, you know, gotta get the other side going because if that lags too much, the miners are gonna lag too much because you can't start the miners until this develops. Everything's contingent upon it, you know, the step before it. So uh, hybrid comes through, great warden's ability over the town hall. King is going to get a lot of value. He wraps like all the way around the base even and kind of comes in to where the queen is, which was funny. Um, things are going fast here because we're at times two, but the rage was, was good in the core. Then that one heal at the bottom didn't do a whole lot, but it kept up those few miners, I guess, that took out the multi, which is what I needed them to do. Plus they got a bomb tower, so sometimes split those last few heals if you have enough. Um, it'll help with time and it'll help with, uh, with pathing. So it uh, looks like that uh, was plenty to get the base taken care of. The queen stayed up, which is what I was really hoping for, um, so she could take out these last few buildings, and that's what she did. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do more live attacks. I'd be happy to keep this series going if it's a popular one. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.